Hi friends, it's Brittany Valadez here for bravelydaily.com. In today's video, I have a special, special guest. You guys have seen the film Sound of Freedom. I have its director, Alejandro Monteverde, here on this channel. Also, I actually have another video um, where I had my 12-year-old cousin, Sophia, who's also going to be in this video, come out and give her review on Sound of Freedom. She went and saw it with me. It was a great, great movie. But you know what? Before we get into this interview, make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, and of course, follow me on social media because I do like to interact with you guys there and get questions um, that you guys have and give them to the people that I'm interviewing on this channel. All right, let's get into this interview. Alejandro, it's so nice to meet you. And before we get into the interview, I just wanted to let you know that this film definitely hit different for me because I also work for a mission organization called World Gospel Outreach. And our headquarters are in Tegus. I just, I've got to know, are you guys going to be doing an international release? No, for sure. We're, we're uh, uh, you know, right now all, all opportunities have extended just because, you know, the, the success of the box office, you know, so now... You know, the, it's all about how you perform in the U.S., how big you go, uh, how, you know, how big you go internationally. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting. So, yes, I think uh, I, I know we're coming out in Mexico on the 30th of August. <gasps> so I think from then on, it's Mexico and all Latin America. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll wait for sure. Will be coming out everywhere. Friends, you guys know that this movie hit home because I go to Tegucigalpa pretty much every year. And of course, if you've seen Sound of Freedom, it actually deals with Honduran children that were trafficked, particularly in this film. So I'm going to be heading out there in a few weeks. If you guys can pray for me, I would absolutely appreciate it. Absolutely appreciate it. I work for an organization called World Gospel Outreach, and we do medical brigades. We also reach people where there's spiritual needs and we meet their medical needs and we do outreaches. And we actually have a children's home called Rancho Ebenezer, where it's a uh, children. Um, it's almost like our modern orphanage or in foster care. So I love, love, love WGO. If you guys Follow me here on social media. You're going to see so many things that I do over there. I cannot wait. Like my Honduran family knows how much I love them and how excited I am to be there. All right. So you guys, what did you think about um, all the things that Alejandro said? I think he addressed so many important, important topics and important issues. Um, let me know your comments in the comment section below. As always, if you guys haven't already, make sure you're following me on social media. It's just at Brittany Valadez everywhere, pretty much except on TikTok, it's at Brit Valadez. I will put all of that in the description box below. I'll also put any necessary links, like places that, um, like, you know, mission organization that I go, that I work with, WGO, I'll link that in the description. I'll also try to link other organizations that are helping fight child sex trafficking and anything else that I can think of. Again, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Until next time, I'm Brittany Valadez for BravelyDaily.com. God bless and I'll see you in the next one.